Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Hex. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. I hope you guys did enjoy episode one for anybody that has seen it and for anybody that has not seen episode one, I definitely suggest watching that. That will be linked down in the description below. In today's video, the main goal is going to be getting the factory set up over in this general area. Um, I haven't really figured out how big I'm going to go with it yet. I do know we have to set up four iron mines, two copper mines, and two limestone mines all to one facility. Kind of just mass producing everything that possibly can make early game. So to get started with that, um, going to I'm trying the only thing I haven't figured out yet if I want to kind of level it with the bridge right here, um, mainly just because that's a little bulky up there and like everything is kind of like this is like the most I would say leveled spot and I can always go like right above. Let's see the world grid's kind of weird over here. Kind of want it to stay leveled with everything around. So I think that's that's how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. yeah um yeah there'll be a little rock right here but that'll be okay um actually i will go ahead and place a foundation right there might as well it doesn't really interrupt anything and now time for me to start mass placing and seeing how i kind of want to do the layout because we're gonna have a lot of belts running to this facility so i definitely want to try to keep it as clean as possible um if that's even doable for how spaced everything is besides the iron ones i think this is gonna be the factory size that i'm going to start with anyways and of course if i want to modify it i'll just delete some of the platforms go down go sideways um we have a lot of room to build that is the one nice thing i love about this game is the fact that you don't need reinforcements under these platforms because if you did oh man i, I would i definitely would be in a pickle in this area of the map because uh how high we're off the main ground down there um so thankfully this game doesn't use real physics when it comes to that aspect because that would be such a bummer i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna leave all these machines running still and i'm just gonna go ahead and place brand new ones for the meantime i'm also trying to figure out the layout that i want to go with um because this is definitely gonna be the probably the trickiest part of setting up all these uh mines at the moment because we have our two copper ones kind of in the distance we have one limestone that's around this big rock right here um, which of course we can loop the conveyor belt all the way around. We'll just have to build a platform um, So that wouldn't that wouldn't hurt too too bad It's mainly just kind of the distance one So the two copper and the one limestone I think will probably be the biggest headache And the uh, problem I'm kind of seeing with it at the moment is we have one limestone here and the other one on the other side of that rock So I won't be able to put these side by side um, And if I did it probably actually I probably could I could run the belt under this floor, but that would require a lot of like work which definitely can do um so yeah let me uh kind of play around with this and see how i want to do the layout so this is like the simple layout i'm gonna go with for the smelters for all four of the iron mines next up i just have to place all the crafters right in front of them the only bad thing is i'm gonna have to kind of stagger them because of how big the crafters are um, which I'm out of cable at the moment, so let me go gather some more cable. I officially now have enough cable to hopefully place all these, uh, builds. But the thing is, like I said, I'm gonna have to line it up so that it is staggered. Similar to this, and I don't see this being... Yeah, this won't interfere. This will look okay, I hope. And then I'll pretty much just be doing this all the way down um, for all 12 of these. The main items that I'm going to be focusing on on the first three are going to be iron plates iron rods and screws and then once i unlock a couple more recipes i'll have the crafters convert into rotors and anything else pretty much that iron will be used for to make Alrighty, i have all 12 of the crafters placed now and this is pretty much the layout it's going to look like for uh, the time being um i don't think i'm really going to modify it too too much especially since this is the starter location i would love to move over to more of like above the water areas honestly um especially since we have a massive massive ocean right to our uh, northwest of us um i haven't ran any of the conveyor belts just yet so i need to go ahead and do that and then i'll be able to go ahead and get all this set up the first plan is to only run six of the um, 12 crafters um, I'm gonna focus two iron plates two iron rods and then two screws of course I'm gonna have to place two more crafters for the screws one so um, that shouldn't be too big of an issue so I probably only need four total because two iron plates two rods now we'll do six just to have uh, two of the machines also crafting uh, screws so we'll total we'll have four iron rods being um produced at once 
which shouldn't take up too much power. I believe these only use four watts of uh, power um, per machine. Yeah, so it's only four per machine. So that's not too, too terrible. And then I think the smelters are five. Um, let's see here. Oh, they're also four. So we shouldn't have too big of an issue for the power grid not to be able to handle at least half of this uh, machinery. Um, I am going to have to craft up some more uh, biomass soon because that storage crate's actually almost empty. It's about halfway gone, um, which is still more than enough to last me a couple hours. But I have been doing a lot of uh, AFK and just the stockpile as much as possible. So yeah, now it's time to move on to getting all these belts placed and then I'll be right back. So I now have all the conveyor belts hooked up to every single machine. Even though I'm only going to be using about half of these machines, I went ahead and ran them all anyways just for later purposes. Uh, next up is to set up all the power poles, which... I think I'm going to kind of try to keep it central. Um, so I might start it right here and just kind of place one. Um, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. I guess I could place them. Is that going to interfere with the machine, though? Does it hit it? I'm trying to make it. Oh, no. Okay, that's perfect. So, yeah, I think every other uh, machine or every two machines, I just need to place one of these guys, which that should be more than enough. Oh, it looks like I cannot add. Oh, where am I? Let me, let me climb up here real quick. So it looks like they won't be able to be perfectly on the connecting points for each floor plan, which that should be okay. So um, let's see here. It's one, two, three. So every three floors we just need to run. So one, two, three, and then just put the next one. I'll probably just, let's see here. So if it sits right here, we'll put it like, we'll hug it right next to that machine. And then I don't know if we're going to need another one down here, but for now we will... Uh, I will go ahead and place one and now it is going to be time to hook all this up and then I need to run some more on the back side for this side of the machines and then I could probably actually let me see can I line where is the power pole at I could probably oh oh um Well, that's not good. All right, I made it back up after that little fall. Um, I managed to fall down twice, so I had to rerun up this thing twice. Um, I'm just gonna leave that there just in case if I managed to somehow fall off again, which um I would not be surprised if I do. Uh, so yeah, let me get back to what I was gonna do, which we're gonna try uh to line up all the poles with the center poles. Um, so I just gotta make sure I put these all in the right spot, which. Where are, okay, so that one's over here. I don't know if I can actually line all these up. I think that's the biggest issue right now is, yeah, see right where they're placed, I can't get actually line them up. Um, So let me move the ones in the center around. Um, Let's see here, maybe one right there. Uh, it's not gonna look super nice, but it'll do the job, I guess. I think that could look really nice. I'm trying to make it look clean, cause this will be the it's a temporary setup, but it's a setup that's going to be here for a while, so there's no point in making it look too, too ugly. Um, I like that, actually. So, yeah, let me, uh, this one actually could probably stay right there. Yeah, actually, this one's fine right here. Um, let's see, connect those up. Now I got those. Let's see, where is the next one? Uh, right here. Okay, so let me move, do the same thing for this one. Just kind of move them all. Actually, let's see, can it line up right there? I think so. I just gonna have to move this pole more over so it's it's more centered with this pole okay perfect that actually looks great i actually love the way that came out it's more uh it's more to utilize i'm just like getting stuck all in and what what's going on here how can i not that big of a gap and i can't fit through there let me go ahead and set up the next two down here actually these two are already set up too i forgot so let me just connect those up we have oh that bothers me actually that really does bother me let me see if i can fix that real quick um why is this one not lined up with that one? Oh, this machine is too far forward that's why just get rid of this real quick and then replace the crafter i've had a couple of these uh crafters actually in the wrong spot and i didn't realize it until after okay perfect that should be more centered correct Yes, okay, that's that's a lot better now. Perfect, and now I can run all the cables to all the machines, which we're not going to connect half of this, so I'm only going to focus down here for now. 
Um, we have 107 cable left. Let me go ahead and run that here. Let's see. So, which one is going to be the main one? Should I? Mm, I am going to move this guy. I'm going to make him lined up with the rest. Because this will be the main power. He's going to transport the power from that pole to this pole, that pole to the power station. Which... I probably will actually set up the another power line kind of like in this general area and then just have it connect to this one and funnel to the rest. Um, so let me get all of these ones connected back here. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more poles um, for sure. I didn't realize I forgot it's only four on these uh, lower tier ones. Of course, when we get to the higher tier power line poles, uh, I think it's like six, eight. I think you can go to like higher numbers on the higher tier ones. So now that all those have power, let me just kind of like jump up here real quick. Stop getting stuck on everything. Oh, that's right. They all show red when they're not. Okay, so let me see here. I might disconnect all that from the power grid just to see if this all lights up. But I think it won't light up green unless I actually have it running. Um, So just make sure this one's set up. I might redo the power lines. I don't know because I don't really like how... Nah, that'll be okay. Now it is time to actually start getting the conveyor belts run to the back end of this. Um, because I'm also going to have mergers or splitters hooked up. So that way, one mine will do three of these. So I only currently need just one of these guys for three. And then a second one for uh, three more. So I'll probably just let this section of the mine um, keep farming. And then I'll just utilize this one. And then since it, all it's making at the moment is iron rods, which... We have a lot of iron rods. Um, and then same for this one. I'll, I'll probably connect a miner to this one too. And then we'll just utilize these two. And like I said, I'm just going to leave that one um, running for now until I don't really need it. Alrighty, I got both miners placed. Uh, I had to move the storage container because I realized I placed it right where I was going to be placing one of the miners. So now it is time to set up each splitter, which I believe I kind of want to get right about here. That should be more than close enough. Let's see. Bam. How does that look? Actually, isn't there a way to perfectly line this up every time? And same thing for over here. Let's see. Oh, I'm out of iron plates somehow. Oh, I think our uh, storage container over here is a little full because everything is backing up. That's what I mean by uh, I don't know if I really need all 12 running um, for the iron farm just because like Two of these is already producing more than enough, um, but now we'll have three running. Um, at the moment, iron plates are kind of on pause, so that'll be okay. Um, I will add another container later, and bam, now we get both machines hooked up. Let me see here, how do we want to make this look? Okay, that's like almost a straight shot. Right, that'll be fine. Um, there's really no nice way to transport all the uh, iron from way over there to here, but that'll be okay. And then I'll set up another splitter kind of like right about here. This side's a little higher off the ground, so it's going to look a little weird. Um, I'm not going to try my best over here. I'm just going to kind of place these three. Actually, those kind of came out pretty nice. Now time to just kind of direct. Oh, we, can we not? And it'll bug out in the ground. I don't want that, so bam. I wonder if there's a way to copy settings. Yes. Okay. So like I copy it and just look at it. Okay. I wonder if you have to be within a distance though. Probably. Yeah. It looks like you have to be like in a certain distance to do it, but hey, it's a lot faster than clicking uh, a million buttons. All right. Perfect. Now that all that is set up, let me go ahead and get the power line run for both of these machines. I'll kind of set this kind of in the middle and I will just throw a couple lines there and then I will throw another one we'll just go directly off that one um that should be okay because I'll be placing another line anyways I should have enough power lines actually because I'll be placing one more somewhere over there uh to help um with all those ones down there which I'm not going to be using right now so I'm not too too worried um that should be okay at the moment so let me go ahead and connect this to the main power grid I am going to disconnect this though for the meantime just to make sure I don't have any issues with it crashing. Now all that should be producing. Yeah, not yet. What's going on here? Oh, there it is. Okay, it was just delayed. That's all. Perfect. Now that all that is running, let me make sure I have all the settings correct on the crafting. So we have iron plate. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So we're going to do iron plate, iron plate. 
and then for this one will be iron rod and then iron rod again and then same for these two it's also gonna be iron rod um these two are probably actually going to let me just do this i really don't need those set up yet um it's gonna kind of cause a backflow because i still need to actually i might be able to set these up real quick oh actually i do have resources okay perfect i am gonna set these up that's the only bad thing actually mm, i think i'm just gonna do it yeah i'm gonna do it off this one because if i can't really place one unless i go way 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 out here then it's just gonna look weird um that one will just be a, a standard iron rod so let me turn these production lines back on now we'll have this feed into here and then both of these will be for screws i don't know if i really need this much screws but i can't remember i do remember a little bit that i did use a lot of screws in my other world so i probably will need just as many um for all the upgrades and stuff like that for this world so allow this is all running um oh yeah we don't have power set up on this side so this is where it's gonna kind of get tricky um is there a line available on any of these power lines oh yeah that might be a problem quick little setup I'll, I'll probably rerun all the power lines because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really uh, think about the placement too, too much and all the machines I'm gonna need running. Um, but for now, this should do the job. Alrighty, I went ahead and placed all the storage containers for iron plates, iron rods, and the screws. And on top of that, I went ahead and did some organization with the power lines, made it a little bit more uniform besides that one oddball that's way down here all by himself. Actually, I think this one's all messed up because I need to actually push this machine back a little bit, which I'm not too, too worried about at the moment. I will fix this guy later tonight, probably uh, probably tomorrow. We'll see. Man, I keep getting stuck everywhere over here. I just need to stay away from this side of the factory. It's not a good spot for me. I don't know what it is. Next up on the list is going to be the copper mines. We have two sitting right next to our base location. One is currently set up to a mine, currently not really doing anything. I don't have any power running over here. Second one's right up over this rock, which I will set up a little ramp so I don't have to walk all the way around every single time. Um, but with that being said, I don't know if there's much wire. Oh, wow, actually, there's a lot of wire. So I do need to transfer this out of here and just kind of move it away from this location. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick, and then I am going to also build another portable miner so I can get a second mine uh, set up for the copper. So I went ahead and moved all the wire over to that little storage container for the time being. Um, went ahead and got rid of both of the machines that were over here. So now it's time to build a couple of ramps. I think this is probably going to be the best bet. Oh, I already have a portable miner up here. Interesting. I had no idea. Okay. So this is also a pure copper ore. So apparently everything over here is just pure, which is really amazing because over on the green fields, I believe almost everything is not pure over there. Um, but then again, they could have maybe changed all these uh all these mining uh holes around not too sure all i can say is um i don't want to go back down there i fell down off my platform i was standing kind of like right where that uh that lift is and i fell all the way down and somehow managed to survive with a half a uh, heart um i don't know how i did it but i did it uh so um, let's go ahead and get this guy set up so we can uh run this over I'm thinking almost of, man, I don't know, I might need to move the hub, um, because I'm not gonna lie, this, that factory is taking a lot more room than expected, especially for the production that I want to do it at. Uh, currently, I am gonna have to also go get more leaves pretty soon, so I can um, get more biomass fuel, because uh, I am actually burning through it a lot faster than I was expecting. But to be fair, I have been doing a little bit of AFK um, as I was doing other stuff. So that probably doesn't help too, too much. And I probably could turn them off when I'm not in need. But that'll be okay. You know, it doesn't hurt to have plenty of stock of everything. So yeah, let me uh, go ahead and kind of like brainstorm exactly how I'm going to run this. Um, because we have to be able to get... Oh man, we might need to actually make a second platform, a second facility. I might actually do a second facility right over here. And just kind of connect it to the backside of the biomass uh, station. That way, I don't have to sit here and run super, super long lines, especially across the mining. Man, I really didn't put that in the best spot, huh? Thinking about it, I probably should have probably put all the iron on the uh, far right side of it. Um, that way, anything that needs to be hooked up um, from a distance, like the copper, could be closer. But that'll be all right. I'll just set up a little mini factory for the copper and wire and all that cabling. And I'll probably end up running like a little conveyor belt under all the platforms 
that will store it somewhere over there that way i don't have to run over here every single time for it so yeah let me uh go ahead and get this guy placed real quick um we'll just set him directly there uh actually he might interfere that's a lot better now and then i'm gonna go ahead and rotate this guy also bam he's already ready to go and perfect i might actually rotate him a little bit now nah, this will be fine because the factory is going to be um kind of just chilling in this area i think right there is good because that, that's like slightly above the ground um uh, some of the ground will stick through but that's that's totally fine but it's not leveled with all of that that's the only problem i can kind of see with it kind of want all this to be on the same level of things so i might actually need to just kind of run a platform but then again this isn't leveled with that either but this is also a temporary station so i guess for now this will just be temporary until i build the mega factory that i had planned for in the future um right now i'm not really really worried about building mass factories for everything just simply for the fact is i don't have concrete um walls and stuff yet i haven't unlocked any of that so once i get the concrete walls and all that the knights are looking building blocks i, would, I should say uh unlocked then i'll definitely focus more on building bigger factories um let's see here i actually kind of want to go down though a little bit ah that should be okay actually okay perfect that is now placed so let me go ahead and get some of the station set up for the wire and then eventually the cable all right so the this is the six smelters because i completely forgot this bottom one was also a pure node for some reason so now it is time for me to set up the mergers i don't know why i always go down to the bottom for the mergers so let me or actually splitter is that merger um i was thinking of the wrong one so let me set this guy up right with this middle one right here kind of want to make this look a little nice just for the temporary um bam and bam okay that one is set up now time to set up the second one perfect okay so now that both of these are set up let me run up there real quick and connect that top one to the far of this one um i am gonna move this guy actually kind of rotate him a little bit more that way He's not going to be super, super awkward, especially since the splitter for the close-up one is the very front one right here. I think that still be a lot better. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a lot better overall. Let's see. Bam. Okay, perfect. That looks great. I actually am super happy with that. So now let me run up here real quick, set up the conveyor belt for the second one, and then from there it should be pretty, pretty smooth. Alrighty, I know I did a lot more than I said I was going to. I know I said I was just going to run the one conveyor belt, but I figured who really wants to see me do the exact same layout that I did with the iron farm with the copper. So I just went ahead and speed ran through this real quick, and it turns out this actually is going to use a lot more. Um, this needed a lot more room than expected. Um, I kind of always forget how big the crafters are in this game, and they're, they're, they're pretty big, and they take up a lot of room. Um, one of the plans I was going to do was have two crafters per smelter, but sadly, there's just not enough room on this platform for that. And yes, I know I can uh, expand it outwards, but that would require me to just be using a lot of unnecessary power, and I feel like I really don't need to be maximizing my power um, in like, you know, all my tools to the full extent you know especially early game um because right now we're just mainly doing this mainly for the upgrades which to be uh you know to talk about some upgrades i have not done any upgrades yet this episode um which would be i think tier two I is i'm on um let's see here tier two yeah i haven't done any of the tier two which i have everything besides the cable which i can make the cable because i had plenty of wire to make the cables so that wouldn't be a problem so I might actually speed do that real quick. Um, let's see here. I have all this too, besides the wire once again. Um, rotors, I think I unlocked. Yeah, okay, so I unlocked those with the part assembly, which I think in order to make these, I'm pretty sure that you need the assembler for. Um, so that's definitely gonna take a lot more and uh, copper cheating. So I'm definitely gonna have to eventually expand that copper area even more than what it is and probably utilize it a lot sooner than I thought to its like max efficiency um well we definitely will see i might have to see if there's another one uh nearby i'm actually going to see real quick is there any more copper anywhere nearby besides those two? Oh wow mm, they're they're not nearby but there is more copper just wow okay so these are the only two in this area so i'll definitely have to cut back on some of the resources eventually right now like i said soon you know this will definitely be the um 
good enough so yeah uh, let me go ahead and gather everything i need to go ahead and do a couple tiers in uh tier two or i guess i should say uh upgrades in tier two anyways um it's mainly just wires so i'm just gonna grab a bunch of wire and go ahead and manually craft it until i actually set up the power for that because right now i'm definitely gonna need more biomass yeah i have enough but i feel like once i set up the or once i connect the copper side of everything um it's definitely going to use up a lot more of that biomass way quicker so i'm definitely going to get stockpiled probably build i might um, i actually might throw a second storage crate next to this guy and just have them all run up to this one line um i know i could probably just separate it and have these three running there but then i'll have that oddball in the corner so I might as well just go ahead and run all this on one power grid. All right, it is time to start the upgrade. I went ahead and crafted a bunch of cable just in case I uh, need it anymore for any kind of projects in the meantime. So let's go ahead and throw that in there, the piping, the iron plates, and oh, um, I uh, do not have any uh, screws on me at the moment. Let's throw some more iron plates in there real quick. Let me uh, grab the 500 screws, which I got right over here. Thankfully, I had both of these containers just kind of filled up for the uh, most part anyways. Uh, screws and iron plates. I've um, kind of been burning through all the iron rods really quick, so I'm happy I finally got that station set up. Um, I kind of forgot actually I had this iron rod station, or previous station right here. Um, so let's see here. Throw that in there, and bam! Just like that, we have officially unlocked... What is this tier two part assembly so let's see how does the let's see how does the oh. smart plating which is crucial for initiating project assembly project parts must be delivered to the space elevator by completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive note humans cannot craft project parts do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Okay, dokey. You know, I always forget that I had the tutorial on and I start speaking over it, so I kind of I had to stop myself again. Also, okay, let's see. What do I need for the assembler? Um, oh, funny enough, I actually do need to make these guys right here i can make 20 so i'm gonna go ahead and make four so i can go ahead and see what we can make inside the assembler um shouldn't take too long perfect and just like that i can place for now i'm just gonna place them right here i just want to see everything that we can automate so smart plating i think is used for the space elevator uh reinforced plates would actually be super super nice to have uh, which require iron plates and screws wow i feel like i just did all this kind of for no reason but i i definitely am gonna need a bigger facility like asap um because i feel like i'm gonna i'm just kind of like in a way speed running all these tiers um overall they're very easy um if you're new to this game honestly i would definitely suggest starting in the forest um the nodes over here are just way overall better um for one in two you get four iron two copper and two limestone all next to each other for the most part you know you're still gonna have to run a little bit but not no like six seven hundred you know meters um because i know over in the grass fields you have to run pretty far on, uh for i believe it's lime actually no no that's a lie they do have limestone copper and iron all in one spot too there um i just don't think they're pure nodes so they're not as good and it requires a lot more machinery long term uh, to maintain those nodes so i'm definitely going to need a bigger factor i think for episode three i might actually need to i might mess around with the assembler but for now i'm going to just focus on what i have and also i want to get the limestone uh hooked up to the concrete facility which is also probably just gonna be in this general area i'm gonna have to clear all this out and i might just move it so it is kind of just like right here in this little uh Right behind these little storage containers i might just build the platform right about here um i really wanted to have all three platforms on uh, or all three facilities in the same platform but just for how much room each facility is going to take up there's really no need to cram in it all at one spot um especially i think i could actually i might run the limestone now because of the, the problem with running it way over here um oh i don't know why it's bugging out like that um the problem with running it over here is the fact that i have one city in that corner yes i could access that one that's right around the corner um but 
totally worth it to me to have a career belt running from all the way over there to on the back side of this so i really just have it kind of all more centralized so i'm just gonna have it shoot across but then again i could that's a lot wait do i have let's see never mind i forgot i actually have the lifts which i actually might utilize that for that limestone over there i could always run it off on the back side i wonder is there a way i could always run it like right here and then have it go under all these platforms and shoot across actually i might mess around with that so let me see here I, i'm gonna i'm gonna definitely play around with that for the meantime just because i wouldn't mind having the, the concrete at least on this big platform and then on top of that i want to kind of move the hub right about in this general area i kind of like this i don't know why it just uh flight entry blah 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 oh sweet um we can uh that is now complete i can actually submit the other one real quick but yeah i kind of want to just move it right in this general area so that way it's a little nicer and i kind of want to build off like around it let's see here what can we can we go ahead and can i send this one i can perfect let me throw this in here real quick and just send this off to our space oh I'm out of screws again. Bam. Okay. Oh, um, concrete. Bam. Send this guy off. What do I unlock with that one? Um, okay. Chainsaw. That's actually kind of cool. So in gather, instead of gathering leaves, I can now gather, tr I can actually just go chop down trees, which how does, what's the, what's the stats for your, uh, oh solid biofuel might be the way it definitely could be worth worth it in the long run but for it not to be on an automated system i don't know if it's actually worth it i don't even know if you can automate biomass can you let me have a look actually real quick i don't think biomass is something you can automate so i think all of it has to be manually uh crafted i could be completely wrong okay i'm completely wrong on that never mind um well actually then if that's the case i actually might set up a biomass system kind of like right in this little gap right here actually right behind it and have, have it all just kind of funnel in there i'm gonna go ahead and fill this gap in so that way it is not here anymore and then i'm going to build a couple of crafters for the um for the biomass because i'm going to just throw a storage container probably right on the back side of this kind of just like facing probably south and then just have it funnel into all the crafters so let me uh play around with that and see how i'm gonna do this and then i will be right back all right this is the simple setup i went ahead and went with for the biomass system so i currently just have a sort of container where i'll just fill this up with leaves and all the leaves will just go into the splitter and then from there it will go into the biomass or it will turn into biomass from there and then from that section i have it going into the solid biofuel so that will be super helpful the only bad thing oh ooh, i'm gonna have to have a fourth one of these actually i didn't realize that it uses 120 biomass per minute and it only produces 60 i misread this earlier when i was placing these i thought the 120 was for the biomass that's actually for the leaves so i'm definitely going to probably have to change this layout just a little bit um honestly i probably don't need let's see so yeah i probably don't need honestly four of them three could be enough um let's just see get rid of all this stuff right here yeah this should honestly be more than enough because at the same time i'm going to manually like stock up on it too this is just for the passive time so i don't have to really worry about it i can just kind of come over here and drop all the leaves and you know well run away and go do whatever you know whatever i want pretty much um so yeah i think this will be the new layout actually for now um actually that only bad thing is that's 60 per minute 120 so actually i am only gonna need one of these machines wow actually this whole layout just got completely changed um if i would have just learned uh, to read just a little bit i would have uh, known all this information way sooner so okay let me see if i can try to center this guy up a little bit he should be pretty good right there sad thing is i didn't put this gr or this platform on the world uh grid so it's a little um it's not it's not the straightest but it's okay um i will make it work for now like i said i could always redo this platform but uh, i'm not too too worried about it at the moment um that can definitely be a future project 
So let me go ahead and get the merger. That way this guy can uh see bam. Let's get him. Now we just locked on to the uh to the wrong uh guy. Bam. Okay. Now we should be fine because it's gonna use 120 biomass per minute, and this is going to produce 60 per minute. So that that should be more than enough, honestly shouldn't need more than this um if somehow i do um i'm not too sure actually kind of want to change this yeah i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tidy this up real quick voila this looks a lot nicer it's not as bulky it's not sticking out as far uh more center too with everything so i, I like this a lot more all right so i'm not going to set up this station quite yet um i have the power line right here for it actually i need to place a second guy for this there's there's only two slots available on him. Let's see, two. Oh wait, no, I have enough. Um, I only need three total. So, actually, I already kind of have it ready to go. Let's see, how does that look? Hmm, that's okay. We'll just do that. Bam. And just like that, the system is ready to go. Whenever I choose to actually go farm some leaves, because right now I don't think I have any leaves in the container. Um, uh, yeah, no, I have 23. That's all I have at the moment. So yeah, I don't have any leaves um, and both of these containers out here don't either. All right, now that this biomass station is set up for now, I am going to move on to the next section, which is going to get more upgrades done. So we got to get the logistics MK2 resource for the bonus program, which I don't remember. Was there always a build gun? What does the build gun do exactly? The build gun software upgrades a new tab to the build menu of the customizer from here. Oh, okay, so there's a color selection as well as a material and pattern option. I don't, that must be, that's, that must be new. I can't remember if that was in the game when I played. I can't, I really can't remember last year. Um, if anybody was playing sometime around June of last year, let me know if this was already in the game. For some reason, I cannot remember to save my life. And then jump pads, this one I am super, super stoked for. This one, jump pads, they, you know, they're not like super powerful, right? But they're just super fun to play around with. Um, this one, for some reason, uses a lot more resources to obtain. Um, so I'm definitely going to work on the two easy ones for the meantime, because I think I already have the reinforced plates. So I'm pretty sure it's, I only need 50. Yeah, I have 78, so I actually can complete this one, and I can complete this one, because I have the 500 wire. Yeah, um, I am running pretty low, but, oh, I already had a spool on me. Oh, that's fine. Um, let's see here. So, and I went ahead and was just kind of throwing all the resources in here that I needed for um, all the upgrades. So, let me see. We're going to just do, ah, we'll just do this one real quick. Throw all of this in. Bam, bam, and bam. Tier 2 is actually really quick because it's a lot of the same components. Um, if you manage to get to Tier 2 and you just don't have enough of any of the components for any of the upgrades, you might not be doing something correct or you just don't have enough stations um, set up so you definitely want to make sure uh, when you by the time you're out in tier two um, you should be able to just kind of like fast you know you should be able to just kind of speed through it in a way um, I'm not really trying to speed speed through this um, so I'm just kind of enjoying everything I can because when I first did my first world it, you guys would have just laughed um, I had builds and wires everywhere I didn't care about anything I didn't have no platforms for the facilities they were just everywhere like you you could walk anywhere and there's a facility being used just not on the prettiest you know system um i for sure will have to show you guys eventually that world um in a later episode just gonna show you guys what i was actually doing um the water facility was probably my favorite project on that world i was starting a mega project or a mega facility but i never made it super far into it um sadly that's when I kind of got burned out. Um, a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. I can't wait to just repeat the, like, not repeat the burnout process, <laughs> but repeat the uh, water facility on this world, especially since, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have any problems with water. Um, over in, That's the only bad thing about being in the green fields is there's not a lot of water spots uh, for a big water facility. So this is going to open up a lot more future projects and I should never really have any power issues, especially with the amount of water that I'm going to have access to. I figured that while I am waiting, I will go ahead and build right over to the limestone. And like I said, I was not kidding. That's how close it was to everything this whole time. It's just sadly, there's this giant boulder of a rock, a mountain, whatever you want to call this thing in my way. So I literally had to run all the way around just to get to this guy and this whole time he was just right there, right there, 
just super close. So uh, let's see here. Let me build a ramp downwards. How do you? Uh, yeah. The ramps on this game, I've never. Uh, they're always weird to me. And then pretty much I would just be turning this machine the other way. And then I haven't really messed too much with the other system. So this section is actually going to be the underground part for the uh, conveyor belt for that one limestone that was on the little hill over there. All right, so I went ahead and ran all the platforms under the main platform. So let me go ahead and place this guy down because I still don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Um, I kind of want to keep it somewhat hidden away. So I think I'm going to run it on the backside of this little rock formation here. Let's see. How far can... I don't have any iron rods on me. How does this... Oh, we unlocked uh, the new conveyor belt. But that requires reinforced plates. So for now, I am not going to use those. Um, definitely, definitely a bummer. But I don't really feel like standing at the crafter for a half hour crafting a boatload of those things. But I will be using the conveyor... I, that really doesn't make sense to have this conveyor belt hooked up to the mk1 so i'm just gonna stick with all mk1 for now so how does this work okay set him right there go straight off right here maybe and then oh okay you can reverse it that is so lit i know that doesn't make sense but if it lets me place this through the rock i'm a thousand percent going to place it through the I'm just I just want to point that out right now um let me just jump down and see how this looks down below oh yeah oh yeah but does it work yes yes it does oh it already connected okay perfect so that is going to funnel down into here and then from there we just have to kinda, doesn't need to look pretty under here at the end of the day I'm not gonna see this section at all I'm going to kind of run it off to the side so I can make sure I uh, can still walk around. I don't really trust myself. I've been falling off a lot today. I don't know what it is about today, but it's not been a good day for me on this uh, on this world. I haven't died. I don't know how that has uh, not happened yet. Uh, let's see. Foundations. Let's get around the stairs. Bam. Stairs placed. That's actually like perfect. I didn't realize where I was at. Um, let's see. So the other guy is running from over there. I kind of want to keep them spaced apart, but like then again, actually, yeah, we. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these guys placed over here. That should be pretty good. Um, concrete wise, I don't think there's literally anything that needs limestone at the moment. Yeah, literally nothing. Not a single thing in here does. Kind of just want to have. I really probably don't. Ooh. Oh. Ow. This thing only uses 45 limestone per minute. Yeah, so the limestone miner uses uh, or produces 120, so I could potentially, ooh, you know, thinking about it, I probably didn't need that guy now. I actually might get rid of this whole system that I just set up. Thinking about it, actually, no, we'll leave him. Um, we'll just utilize that one for now. That guy over there will just, I don't know, do I use it? I don't know, because I don't really have a purpose for limestone besides concrete. And that one alone will do two of these. I know, it, you know, it, they, of course, they have to make it an oddball. Um, I could do, I could do six of these machines, but that's a lot of concrete. Do I really need that much concrete? Late game, probably, but early game, eh, wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt to have like an infinite amount of uh, concrete. Perfect. Okay, now that all three of those are there, I think for now I'm just gonna set up a one limestone, and I'll just leave that guy just idle for now. But this guy's already, you know, pretty deep into it. Might as well keep using it. Um, we just need a splitter. Perfect. All right. So now that I got this guy set up, I'm just gonna kind of speed through him because it's gonna be the same concept that, that you guys have already watched me do with the iron farm and somewhat the copper farm. So I got everything all set up as you can see here. This thing is working pretty well. I um, currently only have one of the th two uh, running at the moment for uh, limestone. Um, I know it's 45 and this only produces 120. I kind of just figured, well, you know, I'm not using concrete like that. And then I thought about it. Well, I went over uh, to my concrete storage container and I only had 200 bags left. So I might actually set up that second one and just mass produce like containers of concrete bags. Just for the fact is I'll never have to run out again. 
and uh, I'm pretty sure late game you probably use a lot of them I can imagine and real quick I just went ahead and threw three storage container down um, one for each and as I am speaking the pod has returned oh <sighs> man I thought I was dead there oh man last time I fell on there you see that big guy right there he was just rocking me like I, I stood no chance I landed and I was running past him and he just he chased me from over there all the way around until I like juked him and got him to fall off the edge but yeah now that the limestone facility is up and running you know it's nothing crazy compared to the mine or compared to the iron one um similar to the copper it's nothing crazy but iron one takes up a lot more room just for the fact is i think we you know have a lot more miners and use a lot more iron plates and iron rods um at the beginning why can't i make this jump you know what? i'm just gonna go up the ladder uh, i don't know why i'm making this so hard i was just gonna get on top but i guess i'll go up all the way up here wow this is such a big upgrade from day one um as you can see like we have the copper facility which isn't even hooked up to power yet i kind of forgot to do that aspect which um i need to go farm some leaves because there's not much left to get or leaves uh i need to farm leaves to get more biomass and there's not much biomass left so hopefully with tier one i could potentially unlock um the water uh water power I don't know what tier that is. I, I think it's a later tier, sadly. So I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit more manual farming. So let me drop all these guys in real quick. Uh, and then send the ship off. And find out for sure. Oh, we unlocked new buildings. Reached. The fix -it jump pad combines high technology and innovation for optimized factory traversal. I have to wait. Ideal travel experience. Clarification. Ideal travel experience not oh. guaranteed. Individual results may vary. Pioneers are responsible for all workplace accidents resulting from jump pad usage. I need to make a space elevator. Oh, that's how you... Oh, that is how you upgrade... Or that is how you unlock the tiers. Well, darn. Um, I don't have... I don't even have enough concrete bags for that, I don't think. Um, I have 600 here see let's just throw that on there oh wait i have the concrete iron plates i have wire i think i have let me let me check man thankfully i had a little bit of extra uh, concrete because not much okay i definitely have the wire for this and then iron plates uh, which i have like i think a half container over here full of them um so yeah this guy i could probably get rid of there's like no concrete left in him yeah bam and just like that it is done wow that thing is huge Oh, wait, damn, what's about to happen? What is that? Wait, I actually forgot that this is a giant, like, legit elevator for space. That is so cool. Do you think humans will ever get, you know, n nothing this crazy, of course. But do you think humans will ever get to this point where they can build technology similar to this? I feel like we could. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore, and exploit. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us Only all. two hours? That's it? Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fix-It down. How do I make smart plates? Is it with the assembler? Bam. Okay, it is with this. Oh. Ooh. I'm definitely going to have to get that set up. I'm, I'm definitely not, sadly, going to complete uh, Tier 2 to its full potential um, in Episode 2. But in Episode 3, I will definitely be setting up, it looks like, more stations. Um, Looks like we're going to need a lot and a lot of resources to go into this project. So we need screws and rods, and then we need iron plates and, and screws. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to need a lot more resources. So I'm happy I got this farm fully set up. 
and everything is plugged in all i have to do is connect the miners to the last four or last six stations and then this thing will be fully operational um all my plan was to do is once i clear out this area move these two miners to the last six that way they're not like you know i don't have to overlap um that way i don't have to uh, overlap that mining station and that mining station that's going to be over there um so yep i hope you guys did enjoy episode two of satisfactory hope you guys are enjoying these long episodes i know you know they're probably about 30 to 40 minutes if not longer this one i've done a lot of building aspect and a little bit more talking than i uh, normally like to do um but as always guys i hope you guys did enjoy it's been your boy hex i'll catch you later peace